So last year, my wife and I got to stay at a stunningly beautiful, gorgeous hotel in Paris. It was part of the IHD collection and I'm not sure I will ever go back. Let me tell you why. Last year, my wife and I did a 10 day trip all across Europe. Paris, Rome, London, 10 days, $40,000 worth of flights, all of our hotels covered with points. If you wanna know how we did it, you can watch the video above. But while we were in Paris, we had the opportunity to stay at two different hotels. And I wanna talk about one today. And now I apologize to all the Parisians out there, but I'm gonna to try to pronounce this. It was the Kimpton Saint Henri. And I promise you that's the only time I'm gonna to try to say it. We got to stay there and honestly, it was an incredible hotel. It's just wrapped in a really weird ecosystem. And so I wanna take a look at it. Now this isn't gonna be a fully comprehensive review if you've seen my other reviews of the European hotels we have stayed at. I look at it through a certain lens because on this channel, we wanna travel for free using credit card points. So I'm not going into the weeds on this hotel. I purely wanna look for a points redemption or to stay there using points. I wanna know, was it a good value? And based on that value, how is the room and how is the location? So we're gonna jump right into it and let's look at the cost. So we stayed there for two nights, Sunday, September 11th and Monday, September 12th, checking out on Tuesday the 13th. And while they do have redemptions where you can only use points to book a night, we didn't quite have enough points to do it, so we did their cash plus points redemption model. And so for us, we paid 64,500 points per night plus $132 cash each night. So this came out to 129,000 points total plus $264. Now what's interesting about this room is that the flat out cash rate was $534. So we wanna do a little bit of math here to kind of figure out, is this a good redemption value? So we first have to actually do a little subtraction because if the full cash rate is $534, but even with the cash plus points, I still had to pay some cash, we have to subtract that cash out of this because I'm paying that either way. So we don't want this in the equation at all. So I'm gonna take the $534, I'm gonna subtract the $132 that I had to spend on the cash plus points model, and we come to a total that additionally, if I would have just flat out paid cash, the additional cost would have been $402. So to calculate the cents per point, you're gonna take that $402 times it by 100, and you're gonna divide that by the amount of points that this room costs per night, which was 64,500, and you come out to 0.63 cents per point. And here's where we get a window into the IHG ecosystem. They've never really been known for being a great reward system. In fact, over the last few years, they've had some devaluations across their program as a whole, implemented some fluid pricing, and really, they're not very highly regarded in the credit card redemption community. If you do like them, I'd love to know why. Drop a comment below and let me know. But for the most part, there is only one really common theme that I see when I'm looking for an IHG hotel and it's that they're gonna have really poor redemption rates. And we kinda see this right here in this example, 0.63 cents per point. It's not a great redemption rate. In fact, if you're familiar with some standardized ecosystems like Chase or American Express, you know that you can use their points and actually redeem for cash back for at minimum one cent per point. So this valuation of this stay at IHD's Kimpton Hotel in Paris, I'm getting even less than one cent per point, 0.63. And so this is a little disappointing. And so you might be able to ask, well, then why did I book this at all? Well, the truth is I really only booked it because I had IHD points. This wasn't a situation where I was taking my Chase points and I really wanted to stay at a Paris hotel, so I decided to transfer Chase to IHG. That is not what happened. I had IHG points that I needed to use. I found this hotel, it looked like a cool hotel, and so I decided to give it a shot. And so I wanted to find a, a great IHG option in Paris, and 
this really looked like it because when you look at the photos and you look at the hotel itself, it looks like an incredible hotel and honestly, it was. But when you evaluate the redemption, it's just not that great. Honestly, because it was less than one cent per point, it would have been a, maybe a better option if I would have taken my chase points, just paid cash for the room, and then used chase points as cash back to cover the cost. Even if you take those 64,500 points, IHG points that I used, if you translate that as chase points, that would be $645. I could have paid cash for the room and had some money left over. But again, that isn't really a fair comparison because I wasn't coming from Chase. I had IHG points already sitting there, so I needed to use them. So let's look into the IHG specific. If we're just comparing IHG within its own ecosystem, was this a good IHG redemption? So if you look at the Point Skies evaluation for March of 2023, he says that IHG points are worth 0.5 cents per point. So if you remember, I got 0.63 cents per point. So this was an above average redemption within IHG. It's just frustrating that these points are continually devalued by their own ecosystem. Ultimately, what IHG is doing is they're pushing away consumers. They're gonna push away people that might want to stay at their hotels, and we're gonna to go to different ecosystems. We're gonna to go to Hyatt, right? Like we're gonna go where we think we're gonna get better, more outsized value for our points. We're not gonna pursue IHG points. And honestly, you know, my wife and I, we do have the IHG Premier card. That's how we got these points in general, which, you know, if you are in the market for an IHG card and you really like IHG hotels, there has never been a better time to get an IHG co-branded credit card because you got the IHG uh, Premier by Chase, which has a highest welcome bonus ever at 175,000 points after 3,000 in spend in three months. There is a $99 annual fee, but it comes with a free night certificate. But again, because IHG continues to devalue all of their properties, how valuable is that free night certificate when they keep raising the prices of points for each hotel you go to look for? Anyways, I digress. There's another card also from Chase, which is the Chase Traveler card. It has a 120,000 point bonus after 3,000 spend, or 2,000 spend in three months. And so I do have some links below. These are not referral links. And so again, if you're interested in pursuing IHG points and having an IHG card, right now is the best time you could do that. But for me, it just doesn't make sense to pursue IHG points. So these, the, the IHG Premier card is a keeper card for me, but I'm not using it really at all. It's just gonna sit in my safe. I'll use it one time a year just to really keep it kind of fresh and keep it active. And hopefully I'll get that free night certificate and my wife and I can figure out creative ways how to use it. But right now I have zero incentive to pursue more IHG points. I have some sitting in my account right now and I gotta figure out ways to use them. But because I feel like I get poor value, why would I actually pursue more IHG points by using this card? Why would I ever transfer my chase points into IHG when I'm gonna get less value the moment I transfer them out of the chase ecosystem? It just doesn't make sense. IHG, if you're watching, please, please, please change this setup. Give us a reason to want to use your points because you really do have some great hotels like this Kempton and I want to recommend it but I'm having trouble doing that anyways let's keep going let's look at the room the room was awesome it was clean had a huge awesome bed it was extremely comfortable a great aesthetic the room was luxurious it had a beautiful bathroom arguably no definitely the biggest shower that we saw in our entire trip, tons of closet space. Really the only poor thing about this room was the view out the window, which, you know, it's kind of the luck of the draw there, but we got an alley, alleyway, so that was kind of unfortunate, but it was an awesome room. Honestly, I would love to stay in this room again. Now let's take a look at the location of the hotel. And if you saw my other Paris review video, you're gonna see some similarities here, but this hotel was in the Opera District, which, to me, kind of looks like it's in the middle of everything. And there's only one real distance that we need to know when you're staying at 
this hotel and it's the distance from the hotel to the Paris metro station, the nearest Paris metro station, which if you look it up on Google Maps is only a two minute walk. Now, I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I do not ride the subway really ever unless I'm going to a major city and I love the Paris Metro. It was super easy to use, extremely clean. It felt safe. Uh, I was able to read the signs and maps super easily and figure out my way around. And honestly, it was cheap, about $2 for a single trip. And so my wife and I bought like a 10 ticket pack and we were able to go everywhere we wanted to go. And so that means that really there's not a terrible location anywhere in the city of Paris because if you can just navigate the metro, you're going to be okay. But I love this location. The Opera District was awesome. And I would give you know, the room probably an 8 out of 10 and the location a 10 out of 10. So do I recommend this as a good point redemption hotel option for Paris? Well, it's hard. Because if you only have IHG points, yeah, I mean, if you look at the data, this was an above average IHG redemption option. But if you have any other options, like if you can go to a different hotel chain, specifically Hyatt, you're going to find better value all the way around. In fact, in Paris itself, there are multiple Hyatt properties that have way better redemption options than this Kempton Hotel. For my wife and I, we got to stay in the Park Hyatt Vendome. I made a whole other video about it, so you should go watch it here. But I would highly recommend this hotel. It was better in almost every way. It was cheaper points, only 40,000 points per night. I didn't have to pay any additional cash like I did for the IHD option. It had a better room. It was a better hotel. It was a nicer room, better everything, lower, lower price. I mean, it just kind of blew it out of the water. And so, yes, if I'm only in IHD, it was a good option. And in a vacuum, I wish everyone had an opportunity to stay at this hotel because it really was a great hotel. But in the world of IHD and in the world of point redemption, it's just hard for me to justify or encourage anybody to pursue IHD points right now. And for that reason, you're probably never going to get a chance to stay at this hotel. <laughs> well, would I stay at this Kimpton again? Yeah, I would. But the redemption rates are really going to have to get a little bit better. IHD, if you're watching, let's make some positive changes. Bring us back. Give us a reason to want to use your ecosystem again. Well, hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe and stay tuned for more content like this in the future. I'll see you next time.